Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, that you have given us another day. Thank you, Lord. It is not for accident or it is not for granted because, God, everything is belongs to you, Lord. You are God. Many people, some of them, they didn't see the, the day. But I thank you that I am able to see this day, God. It is a new month, my Father. I want to honor you, Lord. I want to glorify your name. I want to give you all the glory, God. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus, I commit everyone that has come to join us, God. Everyone, every, all our members, our, our partners, and all the, the followers, the Lord, who are joining, wherever who is listening this video all over the world, God, I pray and I thank you for their life, God. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I worship you, God. We thank you, Jesus. We acknowledge your name. We give all the glory. The honor and the glory belongs to you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Wonderful Father, we give all the glory. You are so wonderful. You are a good God. You have good plans for us, God. We thank you, my God and my, oh, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we glorify your name. We magnify your name, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I want to welcome everyone. I welcome everyone. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. God bless you so much. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Overcomers Deliverance and Healing, Healing Ministry, we are based on deliverance and spiritual warfare. With, I thank I thank everyone, those who are following us, God bless you. Share these videos to your friends, to your, your families. These videos, I have so much testimony what these videos is doing to people. I, I, I appreciate everyone who is sharing them. And, and you can also paste and put in your Facebook and everywhere so that other people can see. I thank you so much for coming this morning. God bless you. I'm going to talk to the, the topic called Divine Open Doors of Opportunities. Divine Open Doors of Opportunities. There, there, is, there is what is called Divine Open Doors of Opportunities. You may be like all the doors has been closed. The enemy can close all the doors, but today, as I'm going to talk to you, there is divine open doors. This is a new month. This is a new month. This is the second day. So God, who loves you so much, has good plans for you. God Almighty, King of glory, King of kings, he, he has everything he has prepared for you because of his love. I thank God that God has, has have divine uh, open to us for opportunity for for people who are looking for what they want and i'm going to read from the book of isaiah 45 verse 1 the book of isaiah 45 verse 1 the bible says thus says the lord of, of thus says the lord to Cyprus is anointed whom i have taken by the right hand to subdue nations before him and to lose the lawns of kings, to open doors before him so that the gates will not be shut. The Lord Almighty will make you subdue nations, will make you that you will rule, uh, you will rule uh, kings to open, to open doors before you. The Lord will open doors before you. The gates will never be shut of you. The gates will never be closed for you. The Lord is, as, as, is opening door for you. Opportunity of opening door for you. That you will enter in the mighty name of Jesus. This opportunity, the Lord is talking, it is opportunity of opening new business. It is opportunity of opening uh, 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 places. God has divine opportunities to take you to a places to a new level to take to take you higher to move you from where you are to another place 
to anoint you, to move with anointing. When you are moving with anointing, you can rule leaders, you can rule kings, you can subdue, you see, subdue nations. God has opened a new door, a new opportunities for you. Don't stay there, you think that God does not know you. There is divine opportunities. God will give you a great a new ideas. God will create in you a, a creativity, a, a new idea, a ideas that you that will provide for you the rest of your life. You need to ask God to open a new door, a new opportunity, which He has already opened. Now ask Him to open your eyes and see which opportunity that God has opened for you. He has. He said the Bible says that to to subdue nations before before Him. To lose the lords of kings, to open doors before him, so that gates will not be shut. No powers of darkness, no evil that will close the doors that God has opened for you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Divine opportunity is the divine that God has given you. The favor. Another way is the favor. Because of the favor of God, God has opened divine opportunity for you. Because God has favored you, God has opened a divine opportunity for you. Divine opportunity for you. So that you can get. God has always second chance. You may, you may wonder, what, what can you do? How are you going to live? What, how you want to feed your children? How are you going to pay the rent? Especially this time. When the month is ending, many people they are fighting, depressed, stressed because you want to meet the the bees. The bees are up. Everything is the bees. All the bees are up now. So you, you you when you look at your budget, you you don't know what how how you want to meet them. But the heavenly Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has a divine open doors opportunity for you. You may be wor worrying yourself. Remember the Bible says, do not worry what even what you eat. Just live the way it is. Yes, because when the scripture says, now if you worry so much, you've been fighting with your, your family, with your people you are living with, because you don't know where you can get money, how you are going to survive, how you are going to meet the things. But God has remembered you. God has open opportunity. God has divine open or door of opportunity for you. Just look at this. You may be wondering, how am I going to be meet this? When you've been working, now you work very hard. You got your paycheck, but the expenses you had is too much. This peers, you have not met this and this. Now you are worried. You wish that you feel like you, you are working for nothing. It is true. You feel that. But God has a divine open doors opportunities. God has a divine open opportunities for you. God has favor to you. He has opened doors, gates, and no one will shut it. You may feel so down. You may feel like you, are, you have no hope. But I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. God has opened opportunities for you. God has opened another door for you. God is God who knows and the God of order. God that who loves us is God who, who is in order. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God will open where there is no way. Where it seems to be no way. God will make a way. God will make a way where it is not it's where there is no way. God will make a way in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you feel like you are going to lose your house, you are going to lose your 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 your, 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 your car, you are losing everything. But God has power. There is power, mighty power, that God will stop what is going to happen to you. He has done to people, so he will also do to you. 
when you when you look at behind there is enemy following you when you look in front there is enemy following you so you are in the center you you don't know what to go where to go what to do but remember divine open door of opportunity is there you might be worried so much you sleep less you don't sleep you may be thinking all throughout what am i going to do now yeah some of them even they decided to go and sell their body to get money but if you depend on god if you 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 give god 100 percent you say god here i am i have nowhere to turn to i do not understand why these things is happening to me i have nothing exactly you god i'm working hard i'm trying my best now look I have this bill. My house is like this. God, what do I do? Divine opportunities will open for you. When the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 41, verse 18, the book, the Bible says, I will open levers in high places and the fountains in the midst of the fires. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land and the dry land springs of water. So God will open rivers in high, high places and fountain in the midst of the valley. In the midst of the valley. In the midst of what? God will open a divine, a divine, a divine, a divine open doors for you in the midst of your problem. In the midst of your enemies. In the midst of your enemy. The Bible says the Lord will prepare a table in front of your enemies in the midst of your enemies when 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 you you do not understand what is happening he will open the ways according to isaiah 51 41 verse 8 he said i will open levers levers in high places and the fountains in the midst of the forest in the midst of your problem in the midst of your troubles in the midst of where in the midst where you have been worried where you are thinking the lord will provide for you the lord will open the door that is what i want to share with you this morning that the lord has opened a big door for you uh, a divine open doors of opportunities there is opportunities that god has opened for you when you have no hope when you don't know where to turn to God will open in the opportunities in the midst, in the midst of your enemies, in the midst where there is no way. When, when the enemy are laughing at you, maybe they have seen your name in the paper, auction, auction, auctioneer. I remember one brother in my country, he, he has, uh, uh, his house was auctioned. They put his house in the paper. To be auctioned and his very close friends people they were rich people were rich and it happened that something happened with the money problem issues and then he was not able to pay the, the, the his, his, his house so the house was going to be auctioned and then this brother he did because he looked for money he didn't get anywhere if he, he tried everything he say okay let me come let us go to sleep in the, the street now but he remember one thing that god will never leave you leave you or leave him or or forsake him he went and started praying he said god 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 who can open opportunities for me god wants more god god do not let my house to be auctioned i have nowhere the man prayed 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 so hard now one of his friends went to see he, he, he saw the, the the paper when he saw the paper like this he was shocked he said my friend is ours he ran to the friend he ran and said i'm going to pay for you i'm going to pay for you so that if you can sell this house then you can refund my money and then opportunities of opened for this man and the friends of this man the friends of my of the of the brother who were rich who were having money they were ready to go and buy that house the the friends who could have helped who who are, who are, could have helped him they they were the ones who were negotiating to buy the, the that house his house 
but another brother this the one who helped him is not even close brother like the friends the closest friends and he shared he tried everything but no one was able to help but here is the brother another this brother was not close to, to him He's, he only saw and says, no, this house cannot be auctioned. I want to help this brother. God opened an opportunity to the other brother to come and rescue him to base his house. So the house was not open. Through this, the other brother who paid the house, now God opened opportunity. And the, the, the same brother, he is a manager of a company. And he was looking somebody for his, his company who can work close with him. Now, after paying the rent, the, the money to the bank, and this brother says, I, I have no job. I don't know how I'm going to refund your money. Say, don't, don't worry, brother. Come, I am looking somebody to work with me. Come, I will hire you. So God opened a door, divine open door. The brother pays for his, his, his mortgage in the bank, and he gave him a job too. You see, divine, God will remember you. You can be at a fix. You, you will be in a situation where you have no, no way to turn to. But the Lord will remember you. The Lord will open opportunities, doors that has been closed for you. Look at this. Paul is talking, like, like Paul is, is saying from the 2 Corinthians 2 verse 12. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 12, Paul is saying, When I come to the city of, 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 of Tours to open to good news of Christ. Okay. When I come to the city of Tours to preach the good news of Christ, the Lord opened door for opportunity for me. The Lord opened door of opportunity for Paul. So the Lord will open door of opportunity for you. The Lord will open door of opportunity for you. Anything you are looking, the Lord is going to open door of opportunity for you. You go ahead. If it is business, any job you are looking for, what you are looking, the Lord will open door of opportunity for you. The doors of opportunity is there for you. Divine door of opportunity. God has opened to you. Trust and obey the Lord Almighty will open a open door and no one will shut it. No one will close that door. When God opened the door, no one will close it. God is able. Our God is able. God is able. Yes, if, 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 if Paul, as Paul was preaching to Paul, he was looking a door for him, opportunity, a door, a door of opportunity for to preach the gospel. Some of you, God has called you. You need a door of opportunity to start preaching the gospel. You need the door to be opened for you so that you can reach what, you, what the desire of your heart. In another way, the desire of your heart. The Bible says, God will give you the desire of your heart. God will open the door. Look at that. Paul says that when he was when he came to the city called to us to preach the good news of Christ, the Lord opened a door for opportunities for him. God opened more doors for Paul to preach the, the gospel. So the door will be opened for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Doors, not even one. Even, even God himself says, bring me. He said, test me and see. He will open windows and also the doors will open for you. God is good. God he loves you. The moment you start crying, worrying, you may be thinking you can't think properly. He, he, he will open doors of opportunity for you. Now, let's look at the book of our Isaiah 22, verse 22. Isaiah 22, 22. The Bible says, Then I will, I, will set the, I will set the key of the house of David on his shoulder. When he opens, no one will shut. 
when he shut, no one will open. You pray the prayer that God will open the doors and no one will shut that door. No matter what the devil will do, no matter what the witchcraft will do, they will work out day and night. They will pray. They will do. They will run in connection. They will try to close that door, but the door will not be closed. They will wait, wait until they die, and you will still prosper and continue with your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Opportunity opening doors opened by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, uh, open doors, Lord, open doors of opportunity to these people in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty will open doors of opportunity to you through these prayers. I pray that as we pray to this morning, as we pray that God will open op 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 doors of opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus. God will open doors of opportunities. He, God can open doors of opportunities to go to overseas. God can open doors of opportunities to start traveling. God can open doors of opportunity of a new business, of a new, of, of a new business that you want to do. New jobs. God can open a new a, 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 a doors of opportunity for for new jobs in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray everyone who is looking for a job, may God open opportunities for you. May open open for you in the mighty name of Jesus. God will give you the job in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray God open doors of opportunity. To this to your people, my father. Open doors of opportunities to their jobs, God, to their children, to everything that they are looking for in the mighty name of Jesus. I command all evil and non forces of organized against your life. I command them to be scattered and let it away. Let, let the ways open for you. Let any evil that has been programmed on your ways to be cleared in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything standing against you, crossing the doors for you, let the, the, let the wind of God blow them away in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray no forces of, of the enemy that is organized by the devil to take away the opportunity that God has given to you in the mighty name of Jesus. The opportunity, the opportunities that God has opened for you, let no thunder, let no power of darkness touch it in, in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I paralyze every activities of physical and spiritual parasite and the devils in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Every, every power that is denying opportunities of God has opened for you, I paralyze them. I command them to be paralyzed. I command them to be rendered powerless in the, man, in the name of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty... In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I paralyze every activities of physical and spiritual parasites, devours, that wants to devour the doors that God has opened for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The opportunities that God has opened to you. A, a, a brother, God opened for, for him opportunity to go and minister in one of the churches in, in states. Now this brother, the Sunday, when he was almost to start going to the prayer, he, he, he was attacked. He was felt sick. The brother started coughing. He was coughing, coughing, coughing. And then the wife called me and said, please, let us pray with the, our brother. He's going to minister and he's sick. So immediately, I was praying for the brother, by the way. Immediately when the, when the wife called me, I started praying. I said, God... The enemy, you are a liar. Do not let this, this man, do not let your servant the, to be disgraced. He cannot be coughing, coughing and is ministering. So I command the demons and, and forces of darkness that, that, that wants to disgrace him, that wants to attack him, to stop. Because that is an opportunity for him. God opened opportunity, but the enemy tried to, to shut it, tried to close it. But in the mighty name of Jesus, the enemy of your breakthrough. When you are almost to get something happen, then you miss it. Let them die. Let them be destroyed. Some of you, I don't know, you have seen it. You plan things. You are excited. You are going to get it. And then the enemy come and close and take it. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I pray every opportunities that God has opened, you will get it. 
No powers, no demon, no witchcraft will close that door. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God Almighty. Yes, if you are going to get married, you have your husband, you have your, your wife, you got a girl, you got a woman, you are going to marry. You know some people, there's these things we hear and some we see. Some people, they are married, they, they wedding, they clothes, they cancel the, the wedding in the spot because of the power of almost there. Now, I pray that every opportunity that God has opened for you, no powers of enemy, no forces of darkness will touch that opportunity. In the mighty name of Jesus. No, no what we call parasite will come to touch the opportunities that God has given to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Powers denying you. You are due miracles. I command them to receive the stone of fire. Powers denying your opportunities. Due opportunities. Due miracles. Let them receive the stone of fire. And burn to ashes in Jesus name. Let them receive the stone of fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Powers denying you, you are due miracles. You know there's powers denying you are due miracles. Denying your job. You have done your interview. You are sure you pass. Now there's power want to deny your opportunities that God has opened to you. I pray that God who has opened divine opportunity for you, that the, the enemy that it wants to deny your miracles, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I want to welcome newcomers. Thank you for joining in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you will recover all the ground you have lost to the enemy. And that everything that you have lost to the enemy, you recovered. The divine opportunity that God has given to you, you will, you will recover everything that you have lost to the hands of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of depression, this frustration, isolation. In the mighty name of Jesus, like I said earlier, the the end of the month like this, the new month, the new week. This time, this week, like now, you have so much bills you want to pay, but the paycheck, your money you have is cannot meet. So you feel you are frustrating. You feel you are so much depressed. I command this demon. To be destroyed and get out in Jesus' name. Demon of frustration, get out of the man. Get out of this woman in Jesus' name. Yes, power denying you. The opportunity. <laughs> thank you, you get it. That is good. I want to thank God for every one of you. Don't let the enemy to take opportunity that God has given to you. Fight for them. Paul said, I fight good fight. So you cannot let the enemy to take your opportunity. Remember, uh, when, 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 uh, when, when Jacob met the angel and the, he noticed that this is an angel blessing, he did not allow the angel to go. He said, death and life. In, and the angel, they fought, they fight the whole night, seven hours. He was praying seven hours, holding the angels the whole night, fighting. The angels begged him, please leave me. Please leave me. But the, the, Jacob said, no, I'm not going to leave you. So the, the opportunity, divine opportunity God has given you, don't let it go. That's why you need to fire prayer like this. I bind the spirit of depression, frustration. When you are being frustrated, when you are being depressed, then you can't, you can't, you can't make it. You can't make it. So when you feel like that, you stop them. You stop them, you command them, you powers denying my miracle. You powers denying my opportunities. You powers denying my divine op open doors of opportunities. I command you to die. I throw a stone of fire to you. I destroy you. You cannot close this door. This is my opportunity. This is my door. This is the, 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 the opportunities that God has opened for me. I'm not going to allow you to take it. I am not going to allow you by all means. I am not. This is my divine opportunities. Some, some of you, you get discouraged easily. You feel like, I don't know what's wrong with some people. You have to go with it. If God has opened opportunity for you, don't let the enemy take it. Some of you, you lost in the, in the hands. Maybe uh, my daughter, my own daughter, has a very good friends. Now, these friends, 
he is, is, is a youth. He's not married. Then my daughter has a, a girlfriend. So the, the, because the girlfriend was not also married. Then it happened that they, they connect through my daughter. And then they started their relationship. Now, after being studying the relationship, then this friend of my daughter, the girlfriend, a best girlfriend, she was the best, best girlfriend. Then my daughter got a problem. So my daughter, the man, the, 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 the man that this girl got, now he was helping my daughter to help that situation go away. Then because my, this guy became jealousy against my daughter, and it is my daughter who made them to connect. She, it is my daughter who made these people to connect. Now the girlfriend of my daughter became jealous to my daughter. Then my daughter said, this man, I know him very well. It is through me you made this man. If I have anything, then I could, have, if I could not even introduce you to this man. So why is it that now you are jealous of me? And, and then my daughter had a big deal with this man. So my daughter said, I will never let this opportunity to go because of my girlfriend. Because my girlfriend wants to destroy this relationship. I will not, I will not. She called me and said, let's pray. This, this person he, he is a good person. Now my, my girlfriend my, that wants to, to destroy the relationship. So my daughter said, no way. This relationship, I will not let it go because this person is a good person. Now, because of this one is going to meet him, is now changing the relationship. He said, no, I'm not going to get it. We prayed, we said, God restore the relationship. Don't let the enemy, don't let the enemy to destroy them. Father, I, we prayed. And then, because this friend of my daughter was an unfriendly friend, so the, the, God did a miracle that the relationship was destroyed, ended. Then my daughter continued with the relationship with the other one. You see, you can have a friendly friends. When they see that the opportunity is opening for something good, they will fight and make sure that you miss that opportunity. Don't let it go. No matter how this, no matter how you love the other part, you have to stand firm and refuse and say like, I will not let my opportunities to go. No matter what it is. Even your parents can close your, the opportunity that God has opened for you because they don't know. They will say, okay, I want this man to marry you. They want to give you their own person to marry you. And you got the right person or you got the right job. There was a, this a testimony. Uh, a, 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 a man, a, a son got a job. He wanted to become a pilot. And that was his mind. Everything he studied in university, he wanted to become a pilot. Now, when a grandmother heard that, that this, 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 the grandson is going to be a pilot, he said, she said, no, the pilot, you, the, 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 the airplane will kill him on the hair. So that, that he doesn't want that. She doesn't want that. Now, that was an opportunity for that man, that boy, that grandson. The mother, grandmother refused and, and said, no, 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 I, you will not go to this. Then he, is, he went to start another career, a different one from what he, was, he wanted to go and do. So now that man failed the, 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 to, to, be a, to be a pilot. He went to do something else. He never did that job properly and he never got the job. He struggled for many years. He struggled until the time he came to for deliverance. So, so that opportunity of, of being a pilot went away like that. Now I pray that every opportunity that God has opened for you, go for it. Don't let it go. Don't let anyone deceive you or change your mind and, and tell you that go and do try this one, this one. No, don't let op on divine opportunity. God is always op opening up divine opportunities. The first, the same brother that we were praying, who God opened the opportunity. God has been opening multi, 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 multiple opportunities. And one day, he was called from nowhere to go and preach in the TV. In the TV, they called TN, TN something. It, it was an opportunity that opened for him. 
The brother went three days prayer and fasting because that is an opportunity. You don't take opportunity easily. When God has opened for you divine opportunity, when you see this is opportunity, go and pray and fasting. Re refuse to eat. Pray for it. Pray for it and don't let it go. If Jack will f fight for, with the angel the whole night, seven hours, what about you? You have to fight for your, your, your divine opportunities. When you see there is opportunity, there is a door that is opened, go for it. Don't wait. Don't wait until the enemy to come and frustrate you and put you frustration and depressed on you. Yes. Hallelujah. I pray that every surgeon perform necessary surgical operation in every area of your life that you needed to be operated. God is able to, 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 to heal you, to set you free. And if you are the person who is sick, who, 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 is look, who is going for operation? Operation. God has angels in heaven. God has doctors. Jesus Christ himself is a doctor. Is a doctor. So heavenly, heavenly surgeon, surgeons will perform the necessary surgical operation in all the areas of your life. And your life will never be the same again. You will find yourself being operated. One of my eyes here, there was something was growing at, at, at Twima in here. Pig was coming out like this. It was very painful and my eyes was almost going blind. I prayed. I prayed seriously. We prayed, we prayed, we prayed, we prayed. And then Sajik of Heaven came and opened and, it, and that thing was removed. I don't know how it went. When, what I know when I wake up, I was looking for the thing. I didn't see anything. My face was proper and my eyes returned back the way it was. So there is opportunities of healing. God can heal you. God can heal you. God can, can heal you because I said always that sickness and diseases does not belong to God. God is a healer. God will set you free from all these pains you are going through. Sometimes you feel you have, you, the body is, it, it has been having a lot of pain. You are sick. You, you can't do anything. But God will touch you and change you. God will, it is an open of opportunities. When the angels of healing comes, that time, and you are ready, you will receive your miracles straight away. There's some, some, some prayers that the angels has been sent from heaven to come and take straight away. No powers, no one will touch that prayers, no matter when opportunity has opened. No matter angels himself, you, know, you remember angel Gabriel, when he came to, to pass the message, there was no power that would hold this, that message. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. When God releases his angels from heaven to, to come and bring the blessings, to bring the divine opportunity to you, no power from the bottomness of the beat will hold it. And when it comes, you take it by fire, by thunder, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. I pray, Lord Jesus, carry out all the repairs that are necessary in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let, 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 let Jesus, let Lord Jesus carry out all the necessary, all, let, let, let Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, carry out all the repairs that are necessary. All the repairs, anything that the enemy has damaged you. Let God take, the, the, let the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ repair it. Jesus is a repair. Jesus is a repair. When you are being damaged, when you have no hope, when you have lost completely, Jesus is a repair. He will come and repair you and, and mold you and make you to be used again. Yes, thank you so much. Sometimes when you look at your life, you say for sure, if it is not Jesus, I could not be like this. He changes you, he wash you, he look, you look beautiful, you look handsome, you look nice, and he will use you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, any damage that has been done in your life, any, anything that the enemy has damaged you, that, that now you have no hope, he has damaged your, your head, has damaged your mind, has damaged your thinking, you cannot think properly, because you have no money, you have been thinking what to do. The Lord has opened divine doors of opportunity to you. Change your behaviors. Stop worrying. Stop being frustrated. Trust in God. 
Say, my God, my Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, I am in this situation. I am handing over to you, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember that he opened doors in the wilderness. He opened doors in the, in the, where there is no way. Remember what he says. Remember that he will open rivers in high places where there is no way that you can think of. God will open doors for you. He's a creativity God. God is God. He's so powerful that no one will even, you can't compare with God. The ways of God is very different. Today you can be poor, poor the last, the least, the last of the least. But God will lift you up and he will lift you up and he will bless you. You will be blessed and then everybody will say, is this the person we used to see? What he did to the, to the beggar, when the beggar, uh, Patramayo, son of Demayo, when Jesus called him and, he, and the man said, I want to see, Jesus said, your faith has set you free. People were shocked. They didn't believe that that was the beggar. So the Lord would open a divine opportunity for you that everybody would say, no, this is not the Christine that we used to see. No, this is not Patrick we used to see. No, this is not men we used to see. They will say, no, something. They will, they will shake their head and see. God is able. That's why you need to be honest with yourself. You must do things properly. You must be faithful to yourself. That's when you will be given this divine opportunity. Yes, Lord, my God. I want to thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, I'm going to pray for you so that God can help you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. Fire of God, consume the evil clock of the enemy that is working against your life. Let the fire of God consume every clock of the enemy. Clock of the enemy, clock of evil, is the clock that timing you every week when you are about to get your bed check or every month every, or every two weeks. The clock is running like this. When you get your bed check like this, the, the, the enemy is after them. I pray that God will open door benefits that the, the enemy has been holding. You are benefits. You are promotion. I am, I am praying that God will release them in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you, Father. Father, I honor you. Lord, I glorify your name. I lift your name up, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus I command all doors of good things closed against you. Be opened by the enemy. Be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. Every good doors that the enemy has closed, I am commanding them to open in Jesus' name. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open by fire. Open, get out in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I reject the spirit of impossibility. I claim open doors. You might say it is impossible. Any spirit of impossibility, you think it is impossible. It is to God there is nothing impossible. Yes, to God there is nothing impossible. Everything is possible to God. When you see like there is, I, there is, it is impossible, it is impossible. When you put impossibility, for, the sake, for your sake, God can work a miracle. Yes, GK, I haven't seen you. Thank you, my sister. How are you? Yes, I thank God that God of impossibility will open doors where there seems to be no door. God is God. I decree restoration seven times. I decree restoration. Everything that you have lost, I decree restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. Restoration. I pray restoration. Restoration of anything you have lost in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I degree restoration. Anything you have lost in the name of Jesus in any areas of your life in Jesus' name. My God, I want to thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray make a case of a miracle. Make a miracle. That will shock your friends, will shock everybody. When they think that you have things, you have nothing to do, you, have, you don't know what, what is going to happen, but God will, will make you to, to your enemy to be shocked. 
when the, the divine opportunities open for you, the enemies will be, even the enemies will, will shake their hands and say, yes, is this what I thought I'd finish this person? But God, he will open doors in the midst of your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that God, in the mighty name of Jesus, when you are king, I will die. No powers of darkness will hold your opportunities. No powers of darkness will hold you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the story that I share always, always. King, uh, Prophet Isaiah, there was this King Hosea who didn't want to see Hosea being a prophet, uh, King Isaiah being a, pro a prophet. He was closing every door anywhere until he died. So your Hosea will die. Any enemy that is closing door for you, every enemy that does not want you to prosper, let them die. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Enemy that is holding you. Everywhere is closed. Everywhere you can't do anything. Anything you do, it is a miracle. But the power in the blood of Jesus, I am praying that every opportunity that you have lost, I command the enemy to restore the, to, 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 to be destroyed and they restored back everything that has been taken from you. Everything that has been taken from you to be restored by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that Jesus will buy you back and will pay everything that the enemy has taken from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. I bless your name. I give you all the glory. Lord, I magnify your name. I pray for your people, God. I pray that God Almighty, King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, open doors, open divine opportunities to your people, my Father, my God. Those, the, the, the ones who have very bad, bad luck, they always in, they are always in the opposite. They are always in negative. I pray that God restore them. Restore them. Those who have been rejected. Rejected spirit. Rejection spirit. I command you to get out of this person. In the name of Jesus. I bind them. I destroy them. I command them to die and go, to go where Jesus wants them to go in Jesus' name. Some people, they are for sure rejected. They feel like they are so rejected. They have been rejected by their husband. They have been rejected by their wife. They, have, they feel their home, their family has been rejected. Every spirit of rejection, I destroy them. The spirit of rejection that is taking, that is cannot let you to have this divine opportunity. The second time has come, you will have divine opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, my father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy and bind out Every spirit of rejection, by the power in the blood of Jesus, spirit of rejection, I destroy you, I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. When you are you are you have that spirit of rejection, even divine opportunity when it comes to you, because you feel you are so rejection, you lose you let it go. You lose interest. You you lose interest. You 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 can't even the opportunity divine opportunity has come for you, but because you feel rejection, you are not amused. You you say you are used with it, so you let it go. Don't get any problem, anything that the situation you are facing because it's normal. You feel like this one, hmm, yeah. Don't don't talk like that. Any opportunity land for it. It is a divine opportunity that that the door has opened for you. Don't reject yourself. Go for it. Come out from that jail. Just move. If you are a type of, you don't have friends, you don't have nobody, go, 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 you yourself, go and start talking to them. Even if they reject you, but God will give you opportunity to have access to talk to one person. Be friends to people and they will be friends to you. When you know when you are rejected, you cannot talk to anybody. Nobody wants to talk to you. Nobody wants to even to see at, to look at you. But to this morning, God has removed every rejection spirit. God has removed the enemy that has been holding you. You will receive a divine open doors opportunities in Jesus' name. Even that is opportunity to get the friends. That is a divine opportunity. Yes, thank you, Jesus. My God, I want to bless your name. I want to give you thanks, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord Almighty, King of glory. Thank you, my Father and my God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I thank everyone. 
and um, I, did, I have to stop here. I'm saying thank you very much. Thank you for joining. God bless you so much. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isig, saying bye bye to you. See you tomorrow midnight, 12 o'clock. 12 midnight. God bless you so much. Remember to go to our website, www.overcomers, D, D, H Ministries, .ca. Also, if you need prayers, I am I am here to pray with you. Call us. Our number is 647-608-5207. God bless you so much. We have a toll-free number, 877-241-3420. This is the number you can reach us. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, this is the number. If you need somebody to stand with you to pray for you to an open door, you can reach me on this number. Thank you so much. Also, we have another number. We have three different numbers, so it is up to you. Sometimes the other one is not working, but all of them you have to come through. Leave your message. If if you are if you if you are don't pick, leave message. I will call you back or send me email. Overcomers D H M at gmail.com overcomers d h m at gmail.com another number you can reach me or you can reach us is 905-487-7196 god bless you so much see you tomorrow midnight and i'm here to pray for you to activate you if they do, if you feel that your door has been closed if you feel there's nothing you, you are doing Everywhere you are, everything is closed down. God is able to give you to open a divine open doors opportunity for you. God is able to open divine or door opportunity to you in Jesus' name. Yes, call me. I'm here. I'm going to give people a few minutes. I have another meeting I'm going to attend, but I will, I will wait for your calls to pray with you and stand with you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you tomorrow midnight or call me. I'm here for you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.